from Hopeless Pennsylvania Cooking. And uh, with fall coming, I'm starting to do more uh, soups and stews, and it also means chili season. Today I'm doing my special uh, everyday chili for you. Uh, this is different than my competition chili. I actually have cooked in a in chili cook-off. Um, I did pretty good. I got second out of like almost 30, so it wasn't too bad for uh, first time doing that. And if you want a competition chili uh, recipe, Lil Doggy is the guy to see. Um, he's won tons with his. Uh, but mine was pretty good. But this is my everyday chili. This comes together really quickly. Uh, usually it's stuff that you should have on hand for the most part, I'm thinking. Uh, it's certainly their staples in my pantry. Uh, my protein might be a little different uh, for you guys because I'm making mine with moose meat. Uh, not moose tail. Moose tail doesn't have enough meat to do a nice chili. I mean, we all like tail and it's a delicacy, but uh, not using it for my chili. Just regular plain old moose meat sourced from Newfoundland. Um, but if you want to see all the neat things you can do with moose tail, uh, check out Steve Robb and Papa Texas. They talk to you a lot about tail, how to get tail, and uh, special kinds of tail. Um, I've had my own tail. I didn't have to pay for my tail. Just saying, guys. So anyhow, if you want to check out uh, some fun ideas on moose tail and some recipes, check out Steve Robb and Papa Texas. Uh, for the rest of us, We'll stick to the main mousse and uh, do some uh, mousse chili here for you. Uh, you can use venison, I use venison a lot, uh, regular burger, what have you. But uh, this is a great use for really nice uh, mousse burger. So let's get to it. Okay, so what goes into my mousse chili? Um, well, I use three kinds of beans. Um, use some garbanzo beans or chickpeas black beans, kidney beans. I'm using two cans of my chili sauce. Um, if you don't have that obviously and you didn't can your own, um, that's a mix of onion, tomato, pepper, and celery. Um, with a little allspice and cloves in there. A uh, can of tomato paste. Um, some of this. Some Montreal seasoning. This is uh, some of the uh, hot hoagie spread. Love that stuff. Use it on all kinds of stuff. Some chili powder, a little red wing hot sauce, and uh, moose meat. Not moose tail. That'd take like a hundred moose tails to make that. So anyhow, that's what goes into it. Let's get to it. So first I'm going to add my Montreal seasoning here on the bottom. And then I'm going to add my moose meat, a couple pounds, and uh, we'll get that brown. And I'm going to use my, that's my pantry chef chopping mix. I love this for this kind of stuff. It does a really nice job of chopping it up and getting it going. So we'll get this brown down. Okay, so that's browned up. Now we're going to add in our other goodies. I'm going to add in my pepper spread and a dash or two of that. I can't make this too hot so Mike's mom can eat it. <laughs> So just a little smidgen of this. And my chili sauce is sweet. This is not my hot batch. And I'm going to add my beans. And I add the liquid because I think that has some flavor to it. And it's probably two pounds of uh, meat. My kidney beans. And let's give this a stir.
See, that makes it pretty too, doesn't it? And see, I'll still add some liquid to this. I want it thick, but not that thick. So I'm gonna add a little water. And I'll use I use my can so I get out the rest of all the bean juice. And then I'm gonna add my tomato paste. And uh, you know, like I said, you can you can also use cans of uh, diced tomatoes or plain tomato sauce or even um, like Rotel has the uh, tomatoes with green chilies in them. That's good too. This is quick and easy and these are always ingredients that I always have on hand. There we go. And if you want it more tomatoey, you just add more tomato paste. But I think this makes for a really good flavor. Chili here. And then I'm gonna add some chili powder. We'll start with that and see what we think of it. Because we can always add them more later. Like I said, I can't make this as hot as I uh, would normally like to. Um, because several, this will feed several in the family and not everybody can handle the spice. Um, some of them just can't handle the spice anymore. You know, one of the things of getting older, can't handle some of those things as good as we used to. So, we'll let this simmer a little bit and uh, check her out. You know, chili is one of those things, just like a lot of soups, it's always better the next day after it has a chance for the flavor to go all through it. Okay guys, she's simmered for about 45 minutes or so, and uh, you know what that means. It's time for the taste test. And like I said, these, these chili and soups always taste better. These soups and stews and chili always taste better the next day. And there you get a little glimpse of it. Ooh, chili. And I always like mine with a little cheese. This cheese makes everything better. And of course this always goes nice too if you have some cornbread to go with it. Um, I didn't have time to make that today but I've shown you how to make cornbread and I'll include the link for that near the end of the video. And uh, I'll let that melt in a little bit and then we'll have our taste test. You know what time it is. Taste test time. Ooh, I had to let it cool off a little bit. And like I said, this always tastes better the next day like a lot of the salads and soup and stews do, but... Mmm. This isn't too hot, too spicy. Really good flavor. Mm. Good with the cheese in there. Mm. So satisfying. Really, really good. I know you most of y'all don't have my chili sauce, but that gives an extra layer of flavor and spice in there that's really, really good. And uh, I don't think I've shown you guys how to make my home can chili sauce, and maybe I'll do that next year. I didn't have time this year to, to worry about filming it while I was making it, because that was in between weddings and surgeries and all kinds of other stuff. So, but boy, it sure is good. That was a good flavor. Really good flavor. And I like it with the different beans too. I just think it's yummy. Mm, having a hard time stopping eating this. <laughs> okay, so that is my my basic everyday chili. Um, I made it here with moose meat. 
not moose tail, but moose meat. And uh, check out Steve Rob and Papa Texas and have some laughs about moose tail. But for everyday chili, you can't beat this. It's a really good, easy, fairly quick way to make a really nice, flavorful chili. So uh, give it a shot. Like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking.